Let's talk about Ohio State, Michigan State, a Big Ten battle on Saturday night, 7.30 Eastern time kickoff from Spartan Stadium in East Lansing. The Buckeyes are a 23.5 point favorite. Total is at 48.5, and you're going to have to stream this one as it is available exclusively on Peacock. Ryan Smith looking for his 60th victory at Ohio State has only lost eight times. Jonathan Smith, first time facing Ohio State. He's now the first-year head coach of Michigan State after uh, being a uh, wonderful ambassador for Oregon State's program and finally uh, departing for a bigger job once uh, the Beavers were not included in conference realignment. We'll uh, wish them luck as I'm a mater in uh, finding a new home and getting the Pac-12 back up to speed. But Smith has moved on to Michigan State, as has his quarterback from Oregon State last season, Aiden Childs. He followed uh, Smith to Cor uh, from Corvallis and uh, has had mixed results thus far, 63 for 116, passing four touchdowns, seven interceptions. He's ran for 95 yards on 27 carries. It is uh, his baby, though. He will be the quarterback of that program uh, for the foreseeable future, unless they recruit somebody better than him. But he has talent. He just has to uh, hone it and uh, get more consistent in the passing game, avoid those turnovers. And that's why the play here is actually going to be on the under in a total that is at 48 and a half, which is interesting because Ohio State is the highest scoring team in all the land at 52.3 points per game. But I think Michigan State will try to play keep away as much as they can. They've got a couple of running backs that they can utilize in uh, Karon Lynch Adams and Nathan Carter to try to move the chains and keep Ohio State's offense off the field. Uh, you know, at this point, the Buckeyes really getting it done with big plays and have done a nice job uh, transitioning to Will Howard as their starting quarterback, the K-State transfer, can beat you with his arm and his feet, very consistent. He has playmakers all over the place. Quinshawn Judkins, the Ole Miss transfer, uh, has done a really nice job. He leads the team with five touchdowns, and uh, they also have uh, uh, a stud running back in Travion Henderson, who has added four, uh, uh, you know, a team that uh, has Jeremiah Smith as the primary receiver, but Emeka Egbuka is who we like as our touchdown uh, prop pick. He will uh, get you for any time touchdown right around uh, even money, minus 110, minus 115, depending on where you look. But uh, Egbuka had a big play against Marshall, and he is a threat to score any time he touches the ball. So considering that uh, it is significantly higher to back Henderson, Smith, or Judkins, uh, and uh, we really don't care to to ride with uh, uh, Will Howard as a rushing touchdown threat just yet, especially with those backs that I've mentioned. Ibuka is the player that we will look to to be our touchdown prop maker. But once again, the play here officially on the Wage Talk TV YouTube channel is on the under at 48 and a half points. Just don't see the Spartans uh, breaking into double digits here. And Ohio State will look to get out of East Lansing with a victory. Uh, the Buckeyes have won eight straight in the series and will look to make it nine straight, which will be the most in a row ever between these two Big Ten teams. Uh, for Michigan State, they will sell out Spartan Stadium, obviously. They've got home games against Iowa, Indiana, Purdue, and Rutgers going forward. But uh, this is the marquee game on the schedule for Smith's maiden voyage at Michigan State. Uh, and again, Ohio State has dominated this series, beating Michigan State like they stole something. And technically they did, because in 2015, that's uh, Sparty's last win in this series. Ohio State entered unbeaten and number two in the country and were defeated 17 to 14. That was an Urban Meyer team uh, that ended up routing Michigan in their finale and uh, then beating Notre Dame in the Fiesta Bowl, finished fourth overall. That was Ezekiel Elliott's team, and uh, they ended up uh, thinking that they should have won a national title, but uh, Michigan State spoiled that. Michigan State also won the 2013 Big Ten title game, but very little success for Sparty since then against Ohio State. That should continue here. Uh, the lean would be towards Ohio State late in the 23 and a half, but again, the play under 48 and a half between Ohio State and Michigan State. Touchdown prop for Emeka Egbuka. Make sure you are subscribed to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV. Follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro. And uh, check out my page at sm.buzz slash TDM. We've got great deals going on at both Wager Talk and Sports Memo for uh, you to partake in all of our plays, college football, NFL, uh, WNBA playoffs are 
here and the NBA season is right around the corner. So is the MLB playoffs. So we've got you covered anywhere uh, that you like to invest in. Uh, once again, I'm Tony Mejia. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for watching.